On this episode of Who Laid the Eggs? Is it a hognose snake someplace? I think I opened the same one. There's no hognose in there. Will it be a bull snake? Or will it be some random snake from the zoo? With your host? Maybe I'll host this one. Emily! All right, so host Emily, what is it? I need like the uh, the Vanna White yeah. like presentation here because you need to come in just like clapping. Well, oh, you, yeah, you have to come in clapping. No, you do. You're the host. Oh, that's right. Okay, try that over again. All right. How do I do this? Oh. All right, everybody, we have more eggs. How exciting is that? Yeah. And it is from a snake that ha I can't keep this up. I need more energy. <laughs> now it is from a snake that has laid before this year. Yeah, she Shakira. gave us a double clutch. Double clutch. It seems like a lot of our bull snakes are double clutching, but most of them, since we don't pair them uh, to try to encourage them to double clutch because it's kind of hard on their systems. A lot of them are slugs, but Shakira was paired because I knew based on previous years she was gonna double clutch anyway. So they may as well be fertilized. So yep. she was paired with another male. So hopefully these eggs are fertilized. Yeah, pull them up, Let's just bring the whole thing out. All right. I know there are eggs in here. Yeah, we actually had to put one egg in there because she laid it outside of the lay box. Yes, and that one egg was good. So we yes. know there's one good egg, yeah, but we, we don't know about the rest. We caught her putting, we put this in the day that she was laying. Yes, yes. So we caught it Snuck it, it in there just in time. So now we're actually gonna take a look at these eggs. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. This is the oh, one wow. that we put in here, right here. It's separated from the yep. rest, you think? And then there's the rest of them. Oh, wow. Hi, girl. Maybe Did you... pull her out so she doesn't like roll them all over yeah, the place. Yeah, really? Did you get like, them all out? Like this poor egg. There. No. She rolled it? Yeah, with Aww. her tail. Don't roll your babies. It looks yeah. like she got all the eggs out, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She definitely got them all out. Perfect. All right, I'm going to set her back then. All right. Here you go. I'll give you a another cave here in a bit. Ooh. Little pearly whites. Look at those eggs, they look good. Yeah, I'll move this one over so it can be with its friends. Wow, look at all of these. Oh, that's so many eggs. It's a little toasty that in one here, might so not be good. hopefully it's not like too warm on these eggs. But oh, we're I'm gonna, sure they'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we pull, we're pulling them out now, so I think yep. we'll be okay. Look at all those. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve eggs. Wait. Wow. Twelve eggs! <laughs> that is a lot. Ooh. I think I know. Aren't there 12 zodiac signs? I think uh, there are. People have been asking for a zodiac themed clutch. Okay, Google. <laughs> How many signs of the zodiac are there? 12 asteroids. Perfect! Well, hey, perfect. Look at that. This will be a zodiac themed clutch then. All right, I guess we'll set them up for incubation. And if you haven't seen it yet this year, here's how we do perlite. Oh, wow, look Whoa. at that. I'm sure people we could. We still have that bag of perlite. Yeah, it's almost gone though. We were really ambitious thinking we were gonna go through that whole bag last year. Yeah, then we got like nothing. Yeah. Whoa, is it, you, you found a scoop. Yeah, that was our other scoop. It kept getting in the way. And you found the lid. Yeah, there's a lot of other things in this bag for some reason. I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame Amelia this time. Yeah, come on, me, Amelia. Stop right. putting stuff in our perlite. <laughs> our poor staff. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can pour the water and get the ratio right on the first time. I've, okay. been, I've done it I'll, enough. I'll be really careful. I think that's probably a good amount. Yep, there, there you go. That's it, that's all you ever need. Yeah, well, like let's do the test smooth. then. Let's mix it up. Okay, we know what the two qualifications are. Let's see if it holds its shape. It's not gonna drip. No. Actually, it kind of held its shape yeah, more. because you grabbed where I put Oh, I grabbed where the water <laughs> was, yeah, okay. Is it gonna drip? Huh. Yeah, it's not gonna drip, okay. We need more water. Look at that perfect perlite that Ed made. Beautiful! Not without, or with, with no help from me whatsoever. No, no help. All right, let's get these eggs in. Those were all my hands mixing them up. Yeah. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Uh, uh, make indentations and then move egg. I just need, I need room for everything. Oh, I, can, oh, no. I mean, we can just. There we go. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Eggs really are good. Magic. Ooh, illusions. Yeah. All right, let's get all these eggs in. And this is going to be zodiac themed, sure. right? Okay, we can do that. And now to reveal behind the curtain. Oh, Emily cheats and looks at her phone for these drawings. I don't have all 
these memorized? How could you? I know I'm a Taurus and that's it. I think you're a Gemini. I'm a Gemini, yeah. Yeah, okay. Zodiac signs, here we go. All right. First we have, well these are actually a lot easier than I thought they'd be. I Is this actual signs? I think there's multiple types of signs. You're gonna make me do the difficult ones? Zodiac signs. Cause I know Cancer's like a crab. Actually no, I think you're right. I think those are the signs. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna do the other ones, yeah. The other ones. Okay. Here we go. This is Aries. Ah. See, I'm not even gonna guess on these because I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know them either. I know Gemini and Tauros. That's Tauros. And the year of the cat. That's a sign, right? I don't know. Okay. Here we go, Gemini. Did you know that one? That one's yours. Nope. I thought it was two babies hugging. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer! Oh, <laughs> I see what you're looking at. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Look, it's an M. Scorpio! It's Omega. Omega Mart! Omega Mart! Oh, we could do a theme of Omega Mart. <laughs> we just went there and it Wait, was amazing. What is that one? Uh, it's Libra. Oh, okay. Wait, what? That is Virgo, I guess. Kind of. It looks a lot like this other M. It, it does! Yeah, why do they look the same? Hmm, come on. People who came up with the zodiac have some creativity. Yeah. Music note. Le uh, wait, Leo. Now it's Leo. That's a liar. I now know what that is. Oh yeah, there you go. Arrow. Sagittarius. <laughs> Capricorn. This one's kind of cool. This one makes sense too. It's Aquarius. It looks like water. Oh. And that makes sense. Finally, Pisces. Quite down, shark. Fish. Quiet down, fish. Quiet down, fish. All right, there we go. Is that like two uh, fish kissing or something? Oh yeah, they're French kissing. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Ew. So there we have our Zodiac clutch. Now let's meet the dad. No, you have to mark them first. Oh, the the date? Yeah. Okay. It has no handle here. Yeah, there's no handle on that <laughs> one. Okay. Today is six six. Shack. Oh, this is a long one. Shack. 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 Shakira and uh, M S G. Mr. Oh yeah, steal <gasps> your girl. Oh, M S Y G. I thought it was M S G, like the the salt. Oh no. <laughs> nice. Ta-da! So let's meet right, the dad and then dad. figure out where we're gonna put him in incubation. Yeah. Cause I don't know where they're gonna go. All right, although mom is just an exanthic, she has no known hits whatsoever. Uh, dad is staring at us over there. Yeah, she is. Aw, she's resting her head on her bowl. <laughs> You're so cute, Shakira. So she was paired with Mr. Steel, your girl, who is an albino, and just to remind myself, oh, sorry, he's a hypo albino, and he's het white side and het exanthic. Nice. So all their babies will be het albino, het hypo, because he's both, and het exanthic, if they're not completely exanthic. Yes. Right? Yeah, yes. about about half their babies will be exanthic yeah. though. So that's, uh, we'll, we'll just have normal colored and exanthic looking babies, but they'll have some other genetics hidden in their DNA. Assuming Shakira doesn't have anything. That is true, but we have bred her with an albino before and we didn't get any albino babies. Yeah. So she's not had albino, but anyway, we're gonna learn a little bit more about her genetics, I think, by pairing her with him and uh, we'll get some exanthic babies out of it yeah. too. And now the big question. So what are we gonna do with these? I, I don't think the incubator can get in. I mean, it's it is a magical magic incubator. incubator. Yep. It's gotta have room. Let's All find right, out. Let's see. Let's see this. Magical incubator. Don't fail me now. Did it oh, fail no. you? It's packed full. There is no room left in this thing. Uh-oh. Um, well, we did start this. It's, uh, it's cleaner than it once was, and it's cleaner on the in- well, kind of cleaner- no, it's not cleaner on the inside. The stuff's taken out, though. We've made but progress. We've officially started the incubator. There's no heat there's or no thermostat. Heat. And or even if we could finish it today, we wouldn't trust it to no. move eggs in. No, we it need has like to sit for like a week. A week to prove to us that the temperature can hold. So mm, what do we do with these then? Uh, do you sit on them? I'll just sit on them for yeah. two months. Yeah, yeah that's that fine. You just never leave the shop. Hi, Nixia. How are you doing? Oh, big chunky girl. Big chunky boy. That's right. Wait, what is Emily doing? I kind of got distracted and started looking at snakes. What are you doing over here? I think I found a solution to our incubator problem. Are you putting the eggs back with mom? Yeah, but in their containers. It is 81 degrees on the cool end of this enclosure. Oh. So the only problem is it would fluctuate a little bit during the day and night. I mean, that's what would happen to eggs anyway. Do you want to run an experiment? 
Sure. It'll only be till the incubator's up and running. That's true. So let's see if we can incubate eggs in an enclosure. We're all for learning new things and yeah. experimenting. So. And we have no room, so we're kind of, you know, <laughs> pigeon held here. Yeah, I think we're gonna try this. This could work. Really? There we go. We can just fill up Shakira's bin with, with eggs. eggs. Yeah. You have the one that's got the the non-positive lock on bottom, right? Yes. So okay. it's weighing it down. There. We'll just incubate the eggs in an enclosure, at least until the incubator's ready. I'm tempted to leave them in though, full term, just to see if we can do it. Aww. Maybe Mom can be with her babies till the end of time. Huh. Let's try it. It could work. All right. Let's find out what's going to happen. So we'll leave those ones in there, but the other ones we have to do, we'll only leave in there until the incubator's up. Okay. Or maybe I'll split that clutch up. I'll put there half in the incubator when it's done. Oh, that would work. And I'll leave the other half in here, and there's six eggs in each, and we'll see which half has a better hatch rate. There we go. There we go. That'll be our experiment of 2022. Yeah. Can you incubate eggs in your snake's enclosure? If the temperature's right. If the temperature is right. Yeah. All right. That's a fun experiment. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that to be in today's video, but there's our experiment of this year. We always like to try something new every time. All right, Mama, I'll give you yeah. a nice cave back. Because we just remembered you took a huge drink of water right before we, we were going to take you out. We're not going to take you out for yeah. this. Yeah, we're going to leave you in there. We don't want you to erp up all that water. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let us know your hypothesis for this experiment. Will they hatch? Will they do better in an incubator? Or will they do better left in here the entire time? Hypothesis in the uh, comments below. I think we'll have an equal success rate. In I both. think the incubator is going to do better. You think so? Yeah. I guess we'll find out in about 55 days. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And we'll see you when the experiment is done. Thank you, Mama. Now take a good long break and stop producing eggs. Yeah. We don't need a third clutch.